Assalamu alaikum. Good morning, everybody. Our lecture today will be about modified early warning system or MUSE school. My name is Mudez Ibrahim, I'm a consultant and organizer of the CBR and RRTT. What are the objectives of our lecture today? What's quality improvement in healthcare? How MUSE score works? Goals of MUSE? Scoring and relevant interventions? And MUSE scenarios? Quality improvement is the goal for making refinement in practice that are based on efficacy and 
efficiency. What's the difference between efficacy and efficiency? Efficacy is something to be done, whatever its quality. But the efficiency is, I want to do that thing in an optimum way, in an ideal way. So if I do something like lecture, I can sit on that chair and can I say, Quality improvement is a goal for making refinement in practice that are based on efficacy and efficiency. I make it sure, yes. But if I brought examples, if I made animation, if I made questions and answer, some interaction with the audience, this now we can tell it we am trying to do that job in efficient way. And this is the rule of quality. Okay, so now I want to increase the efficiency and reduce healthcare related costs and waste of time and resources. Also, to increase patient safety, increase post patient outcome, increase nurse's time at bedside. So, how can healthcare practices? become more safer and efficient for both clinician and patient alike. This is the warning score, our score today. It's named MUSE, M-E-W-S, Modified Early Warning System. Scoring system based upon vital sign parameters, six vital parameters, level of consciousness, change of mental status, one, temperature, <clears throat> inspiration, systolic blood pressure, and oxygen saturation, and lastly, urine output. Each parameter of these parameters will give him a score, 0, 1, 2, or 3. 0 means the parameter is normal. Normal parameters ranging from 1, 2, or 3. Another department, we can modify that name, that back you, anesthesia care unit, it's called BU, and in obstetric, it's called MUS, M E O W S, it's for obstetric, and here for back you. It's the same warning system, early warning system, but in another department. So what our goals of new score is not to make life difficult or complicated. It will help us to identify high-risk patients. Any physiological decline usually precedes critical illness onset. We can't say that suddenly our colleague in ICU knows that well. We can't say that the patient suddenly arrested in hospital. Never. There are a lot of events will precede that arrest. Am I right? So we want to catch this early physiological decline. So how to identify that high-risk patients? Physiological decline usually precedes critical illness onset. Text deteriorating patients earlier and call rapid response and team of specialists. This is our team, RRT, rapid response team. Trained team of specialists with advanced life-saving training that can implement clinical judgment and care. So, as we all hope, to prevent code blues and, of course, mortalities. How to reduce the cost? A trial study by Prince Regional Medical Center that prior to activation of MUSE scoring those two codes per month. So 24 per year. The cost 3330 dollars per code. Imagine. 24 multiplied by this number, too much. 
after using implementation, only two codes in six months, so one over six reduction in the cost. It's only the item of cost. This our score. Did that clear or this one? Which one? Previous one? Better. Okay. We have six parameters here. Expiration, pulse, blood pressure, stored blood pressure, temperature, TNS, or mental status, urine per hour, volume of urine per hour. Here, it's normal. So, if respiration, 9 to 14, normal. If more, 15 to 20, we will give 1. 21, 29, 2. 30 and more, 3. And if below 8, below equals 8, we will give 2. Here, here, pulse per minute. Is a normal range 51 till 100 and if 101 to 110 with 1 111 129 2 equals or more than 130 will give him 3 and on the other side bradycardia will be counted not bradycardia but decreased pulse rate 100 down to 81 will give you 1. Sorry, sorry. Uh, F50 to 41 will give 1. Equals or blue, 40 will give 2. Systolic blood pressure, normal. Systolic only, systolic, not mean. Systolic blood pressure. If 101 up to 199 will give 0. It's normal. If more than or equals 200, we will give 2. And on the other side, reduction of the systolic blood pressure from 100 to 81 will give 1 and will give 2 to that range. And if equals or below 70, we will give 3. For temperature, it's like that. Okay. And for CNS, if alert oriented, like me and you, we'll give zero. If new onset agitation, we'll give one. If only responding to voice, so he's aroused, sorry, he is asleep. If I called him, my dear, hello, hello, without touch, sorry, only to voice, we'll give one. If responding to pain, we'll give two. If unresponsive, we'll give three. For the urine output, if less than 45 mils per hour, we'll give 1. If less than 30 mils per hour, 2. If less than 10 mils per hour, we'll give 3. Then we will count that score. So I, I intended to, to say that in details because that we will do every day as a nurse and we will review as a doctor that score every day for every patient. Once you will do it one, two, three times, you will memorize, no need to catch the paper and count. Oh yes, that's one, two, one, and just we'll do it three to four times. All of us will memorize, no need to catch the paper, okay? So if we counted, if we counted the score, will come into number from zero up to more than four. This number, here what we are talking about. Once the vital enters and score will be counted, we will find numbers, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whatever, okay? We will not reach to eight. Once we went away or passed away from two, we will start to make action. So if zero, one, two, we are, we are safe, we are in the green zone, we are safe. If yellow, we'll do something. If orange, we'll do something. If red, we'll do 
another thumb or something. Okay. So zero, one, two, green. Okay. Three, yellow. Four, orange. Five. If we found the score three, what will we do? As a nurse, we will call chief nurse. Okay? To confirm. I may be, I may make mistake while counting or scoring. Double check. Okay? So head nurse will come and will confirm that score. If still three, so we can call the resident ROD, treating position, MRN, mean treating position, okay? So F4, no, we will confirm first, then we will call now. We will call now the resident to come. Here, we will call him to confirm with him. Here, call him to come. You see the patient himself. Okay? If more than that, we will activate rapid response team. After confirmation with the head nurse, we will activate rapid response team. So, again, 0 to 2, green, nothing to be done. Just follow up. 3, we will call if nurse to confirm that score, so if the same in yellow zone, the chief nurse or the nurse will call resident to confirm anything to be done. If he wants to see the patient or not, or the resident should come or main treating physician should come to see his patient. More than that, we will activate at once RRT. the effect of that news on nursing? The most important is when to notify the physician. Sometimes we can find nurse not notifying the physician at all. Our confident nurse, sure she is confident, she is efficient in her place, but the responsibility should be shared one time with the resident or with the main treating physician. Sure, you can manage. And in medical situation, you can manage and you will do your job and your great job. But sometimes you should know when to notify the physician. Also, when to contact the RR team, RRT team. When to notify rapid response team, okay? At long term, with the practicing that news system or news scoring system, you, you can identify particular population prone to triggering system. You know that there is some risk coming from that patient in room 6, sepsis. No, our basis respiratory failure will be the next one that I arouse and I announce for RRT. With practicing, you will find that in your memory, transparent in your memory. Oh, I know, I know that will be activated. Okay? This is some statistics in Ohio, 2008. They found 50% decrease in code blue, 50%. And 110 increase in rapid response. In 2012, Pennsylvania and Maryland, they found decrease after implementation of uh, uh, RRT, uh, sorry, MUSE score, 67 decrease in code blue. So it's big percentage. It deserves that we can manage and practicing that score. Okay. Any questions? Yeah. So we have two or three scenarios about patients. Okay. 
you walk into patient's room shortly after shift change, he's asleep and doesn't startle or doesn't arouse, while you adjust the blood pressure cuff on his arm. The beginning of shift, morning, afternoon, night, you are starting to measure the blood pressure. You just show the patient for the first time for that day. And when you are applying or adjusting the blood pressure cuff, the patient does not arouse. You say good morning a few times until finally the patient opens his eyes and responds back in a garbled good morning, very distorted way. He's not aroused well. It's not fully conscious, not alert. Not alert. I'm telling you, not alert. His vitals, temperature 38, his battery 20, battery 98, blood pressure, systolic 150, diastolic 85. What's your score and what's your intervention? Any volunteer? No volunteer? I choose. Let's return to the previous uh, slide. Okay. That's it. Its variation was 20. So we can give one. Sure. Am I right? Pulse was within range 98. Historic blood pressure 150, it's here also green. Temperature 38, green. Okay. Your input I didn't mention, so consider it normal. Response seen as the alert or respond to voice. Excellent. So one here and one here, the count is two. Excellent. We cannot find anybody? Normal. So it's two, it's green, temperature 38, zero, respiratory rate 20, one, heart rate 98, zero, blood pressure 150 over 85, zero, respond to voice one. So two, our intervention, two intervention, just follow up. Okay. Another scenario. Two hours and you go back to reassess the patient and get a new set of vitals to find his restless in bed. Pouring at his wires, IV tubing, you get him to settle a bit and take a new set of vitals. Our vitals here, temperature 38, respiratory rate 28, previously was 20. Heart rate 100, blood pressure 90 over 60. What's the new now? Let's check. Let's check. Let's four. Why four? British of 38, okay, zero. Battery 28, it's two. Blood pressure also 96. New agitation or confusion one, so one, two, three, four. It's four now. So, main treating physician should attend that patient to see what to be done. Another scenario, patients in two days ago, post night, in the colectomy, heart rate 121, respiratory 22, temperature 38.7, alert. What's mu and what's your intervention? Let's check. Let's check. Heart rate, 121, takes two. Heart rate, 22, will also do. Temperature, 38.7, will do, so it's six. So at once, you should announce and activate rapid response. Clear? I think that paper distributed in all departments. Yeah? yeah? Clear now? More clear? I, I know that you, you are aware of that, but it's. So I was supposed to mention the 
support stands you are practicing that but to be sure we will make confidence test okay to be sure 100 percent that you all are efficient in that scoring because it's mean cross rule the patient okay i let him or the patient critical it's about to fall we want to catch him before falling clear i prepare Competence test and I distribute to Sister Rahim or Sister Ashwa, and we will be uh, the result collected. And inshallah, 100%. I'm sure. Thank you very much. It's supposed to be this, this scoring to be written in the tablets. Vitals, we take vitals as a book and in our hand of cardiacs, we can give it to the cardiacs in our hand, for example, the five-day squad, the AI in one of the most vital science tattoo. Yes, it's a good one. It's a good one. I mean, I don't know what to do, but it's a good one. يعني ده هيبقى هيبقى استرى شويه هيبقى من نوع من التسليم يعني التسليم والتسلم الميول بتاع المريض ده كمان عاوزين نخليها على لسان وي ونت تو بي اون اور تانج ريجولرلي ريجولرلي ذا ميو از 5 4 3 2 1 يو نو بتاعت دوكيومنت هي كده اه دوكيومنت اه انا قصدي دلوقتي اللي هي بتاعت فيتالز ويدوكيومنت ذات هيز ميو سكور When the first application, first time, in the first period of application, we want from supervisors to check this. And you will give for this patient, for example, two. If, if initially, if, if initially, to check that everybody is practicing in a right way. You got it, Ashwa, uh, Mr. Rahim? To confirm that they are all practicing in a good way, in a correct way, okay? We should keep the equipment. Any questions? Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.